jolts one deep center field. Back is Kane. He's out of room. It's out of here. Jose Ramirez, home run number 10, gets the Indians on the board with two out here in the third inning. It's a two to one game. Now, you see how he smoked that ball, Matt. But they, you see how high it went off that yeah. center field back, uh, the, the backdrop for the hitters, man. And, and, and he's in double digits now, and he's been on fire. Edwin, deep, goodbye. High into that second deck in left field. The Indians are on the board with their first hit of the game. Edwin's 15th home run this year, and it's now 3-1. to one. Carnacion loves hitting at target field, especially when you're talking about home runs. John Gomes with a high fly ball, deep left center field, going, going, gone. We have a score. Gomes' 14th home run of the year gives the Indians a 1-0 lead. I'm going to tell you, he's had two outstanding at-bats here in this ball game. So Gomes gets his 14th, he gets the Indians on the board, and he drove that ball a long way. Now the pitch swung on, hammered, high, deep to right center, way out of here! Into the bullpen, Francisco Lindor! I don't know if he's ever hit a ball further in his life. Tell you what, he almost got that beyond the bullpen the concourse area looking down into the pens. And Lindor swings and sucks one deep to center field and way out of here again. Another blast into the bullpen in center field for Frankie Lindor. He hit one 444 feet yesterday and the Indians now trail it 9 to 8 and Lindor has his first multi-homer game of the year. In the air to left field. Down the line, towards the corner. And the Indians take the lead again. Francisco Lindor is homer for the second time in the postseason. And Cleveland jumps on top 2-1.